Hello and welcome to this presentation which will give an overview of A-Level Economics here at Stratford Grammar School. Every time we turn on the news, pick up a newspaper or even look at the notifications on our phones, economics is all around us, now more than ever with the seismic events we're living through. This has got me thinking. What is economics? In order to answer this question, I thought we could look at what some economists say. First of all, Tim Harford, who writes for the Financial Times and has written some great books, such as The Undercover Economist and The Logic of Life, he suggests that economics is about life. I'm guessing that is not the answer you thought I'd say. Next up, we have Harjun Chong, who is an economics lecturer at Cambridge University. He says that economics is the study of rational human choice. Again, I'm guessing that is not the answer you were expecting. Let's go back further and see if we can find a definition more like what you were expecting to hear. Leonel Robbins wrote the book, uh, an essay on the nature and significance of economic science back in 1932. In this book, he says economics is the science which studies human behaviour as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. Again, no mention what I'm guessing you thought the answer would be. And that, of course, is the study of the economy. So the answer to the question, what is economics, is all of the above and the study of the economy. So what is the economy? Well, the economy, could argue, is anything to do with money. So whether that's not having it, spending it, borrowing it, repaying it, that's a good start to thinking like an economist. So is the question, what is money? Is it physical? Where do governments get the money from? Anyway, we've not really got time to go into any of that right now. Um, so what we should move on to is a few questions about why we should study economics. Learners will have the opportunity to develop an awareness of contemporary economic issues relevant to the UK and world economy, and a broad understanding of recent economic history issues. And there's lots and lots of those, of course. So we've got uh, Brexit and the issue, ongoing issues relating to uh, Brexit. Uh, of course, we have the financial crisis in 2008. And of course, we're living through now uh, the impact of the COVID pandemic and how the governments are going to manage the recovery from the issues that we've faced in 2020. Learners will also develop an understanding of economic concepts and theories through a critical consideration of current economic issues, problems and institutions that affect everyday life. So again, echoing this idea that we really are learning what we're living through. Develop a broad range of skills, analytical skills, communication skills, problem solving, decision making, critical thinking. These obviously are going to be very, very useful uh, for economics. They'll be very useful, of course, if you wanted to go on further, perhaps after A-levels onto university uh, to study economics. But of course, these are very transferable skills as well. So the analytical skills, uh, your math skills, communication skills, so whether that's uh, written or verbal, problem solving, decision making, future managers, future leaders, these skills, great for economics, but also very, very transferable as well. Also, here at Stratford Grammar, we have some excellent enrichment opportunities. So we've been to the JCB factory to explore uh, production and automation, how that business has grown. Bank of England have sent a visiting speaker to us to explore the current issues in economics and in finance as a whole. So why economics at Stratford Grammar School? Well, we have got very good exam results in business and economics in recent years, with our results in 2021 expected to be even better. There's a high level of personalised support throughout the entire course, supportive learning environments where your skills and talents are nurtured and developed. Our classrooms have a very safe environment, we have some excellent class discussions, and everyone really is encouraged uh, to make a valid contribution. 
These small class sizes provide the opportunity to personalise activities to support you in any areas you need. Our teaching is very agile. If there's a topic that we're struggling a little bit, we can spend some more time on it. If there's something that we grasp straight away, we can move on and not waste any time waiting for perhaps a larger class would have to uh, in order to catch up. The exam board we use here at Stratford is um, Educast, which is the Welsh board. So let's have a little look at the specification here. So um, the subject content is grouped into three main areas. So we start off in the beginning of year 12 with microeconomics. And what that means is we look at demand and supply in product markets, moving on into labour markets. Uh, we look at uh, resource allocation, uh, the impacts of costs and revenues in organisations. Um, and then later on in year 13, we'll go on to market structures, market failure. Uh, macroeconomics, uh, so we look into the macroeconomic objectives and macroeconomic theory. Uh, so we're looking at how an economy can grow, things like gross domestic product, uh, unemployment, inflation, those kind of issues. And then finally, we have global economics, where we look at international trade, non-UK economies as well, uh, and as well as economic developments. The way the course is assessed uh, is through uh, examination. So there's three uh, exams at the end of year 13. Uh, the component one is economic principles, and that's a written exam. Shorter questions on that one. Uh, component two, exploring economic behaviour. That's a two and a half hour exam where you're given some case studies to interpret and analyse. Uh, and then finally, component three is um, uh, evaluating economic models and policies and their more essay type responses. So, should you take A level economics? What's next? What are the career options? What can you do with the qualification? Well, the course provides a suitable foundation for the study of economics or related area through a range of university courses. And some of the career options you could have, well, of course, an economist, or you could look at things like chartered accountant, investment analyst, management consultant, or even get into uh, uh, some government official roles. So what's life like as an economist? The course is designed for you to develop your own interest and enthusiasm for your subject. So there'll be lots of independent reading. Um, it's such a wide area. It's great when students um, find out something new and then bring it back and share with the rest of the class. You'll be encouraged to use an inquiring, critical and thoughtful approach to develop an ability to think as an economist. You'll be encouraged to develop analytical and uh, quantitative skills together with qualities and attitudes which will equip you for the challenges, opportunities and responsibilities of adult and working life. So going back to what Tim Parfit said at the beginning of this presentation, what is economics? It's about life and certainly life as an economist will help prepare you uh, for the challenges that you'll face in the future. What I'd like to do now is just go into a little bit more depth uh, on some of the topics that are covered, just to give you a bit more of an idea of what you would study in A-level economics. And two really interesting topics, I think, are um, the policy instruments that can be used, uh, such as fiscal policy and monetary policy. So fiscal policy, as we can see, we've got a picture there of uh, the Chancellor and the Prime Minister. Um, and what we investigate is how the government um, are going to spend their money, how they receive that money through taxation, and how they're going to handle any deficits. So if the money that they're getting coming in from taxation, uh, is, if there's a shortfall for what they intend to spend, how are they going to cope with that? Uh, is that going to result uh, in a bigger national debt? Uh, what are the implications for that? Obviously hugely relevant at the moment. Um, how are the governments uh, going to deal uh, with the fallout from the COVID crisis as well as tackle uh, the challenges that Brexit uh, is facing us as well? Also, we'll look at monetary policy and the role of the Bank of England, the impact of the interest rates that they set, and we look into the transmission mechanism that goes into place uh, to help 
formulate that interest rate. So, in order to build on the excellent lessons that we have, which are lots of class discussion, um, lots of investigation, lots of current affairs, lots of talking about opinions and debating ideas, we all know that we learn uh, out of the classroom as well. And in order to enrich the course, uh, there's a couple of uh, trips that we have planned. So in the past, we've been to places like Land Rover Jaguar, JCB. Um, we've also had uh, the guest speaker from the Institute of Economic Affairs. Uh, we've in, been involved in various competitions, such as the Investment Challenge at Manchester University, Target 2.0. Uh, we also have regular study workshops, talks from Warburton's, and also uh, we had a visit from the founder of Innocent Smoothies. Well, that's some of my thoughts on the course. But what perhaps might be more useful will, will be some quotes from our current students, from our current economic students. So, um, first of all, we have uh, economics gives you a high-level understanding of how the economy works. This will be a very useful tool for my future working life. Next, we have this subject is in, held in high regard by universities. It teaches you about the world around you and makes you think about the tough decisions governments need to make. Next, we have economics helps you to think strategically and helps you to prepare for the jobs that require problem solving and analytical skills. And then finally, we have economics is in the news a lot at the moment. In lessons, we're able to discuss events and issues as they unfold such as the impact of Brexit and COVID-19. Well, we're now coming to the end of this presentation. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it has answered any questions you may have about the course. If you do have any further questions, do feel free to get in touch. The best people to contact will be the curriculum leader for business economics, uh, Miss Platt, and her email address, uh, email address is j.platt at stratfordgrammar.com any queries relating to sixth form sixth form at stratfordgrammar.com and you can follow the sixth form on twitter as well thanks for your time